Okay, now the point of this puzzle is to take the stuff on the shelves, move them around a bit. Apparently there's probably some sort of order that you're trying to put them in. Not exactly sure. Okay, I've messed around a bit, and uh, apparently what you want to do is you want to get the record player there, so... Okay, so when Bess steps on this little stand thing... It sets up the balloon, nobody cares about that, but more importantly, it starts the Victrola. It starts the hula hoop dancer and knocks down the books. That's sending the head here, which starts the fan. And the fan blows the little ship, pops the balloon, and the teeth start going in. And, and, huh. What am I missing? Oh, that's right, the sneezing powder. Okay, you need to put the sneezing powder up there. And that's, that's what you do to finish, to solve the puzzle. Kind of an interesting little puzzle, I wish. It's kind of hard to figure out what to do, though. There's no hints or anything, you just have to rely on sheer brain power. Okay. And now Bess is sneezing. There, that should do it. Um, Lamont? Could you help me? Sure, what do you need? Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. This is kind of unfair, but you know, we need to go in the back room and figure out what was in that box, so if we have to temporarily incapacitate Lamont, then I guess we have to temporarily incapacitate Lamont. Him. He's so confused as to what's going on. Uh -oh. oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh shoot! I'm sorry! I'll go get you something! What do you need? No spray! Back room! No spray! Back room! Got it! Okay. But while we're in the back room, which is where the box is, we might want to check out the box first. Let's see what's in it. Oh, Lamont's still sneezing. Cute dog. Yeah, it's a cute dog. It's an iguana dressed as a pirate. Oops. Ooh, hey, did you see that? That's a skeleton man costume. So Henry sold the skeleton man costume to Lamont, huh? Very suspicious. Very suspicious, I might say. Must be why Lamont didn't want to talk about it. And let's see, the box is locked by some sort of code. Huh. Okay, so the way to break the code is to check Bess's journal. It tells you what to do. It says that something about checking the letters in the letter. Lamont is still sneezing, by the way. Okay, so... Here's, see how it says Hamlet 1, 3, 32? What you do is say L is the first letter. Three letters after is E. Then 32 letters afterwards is B. You do that until... You do that and you get the code word, which is L, E, B, E, N, U, N, D, T, O, D. I'm not sure why it said Hamlet in the uh, clue. Really doesn't have anything to do with Hamlet. Whoa, this is weird. I better call Nancy and read this to her word for word. Huh, that is kind of weird. Wow, Bess, that is weird. No, I'll tell you what's weird. The box the letter is in is padded, and it has this round indentation in it that's the exact size of a human skull. It's like it used to contain a skull, but now it doesn't. Did you find anything hmm. else? Yeah, inside the box that this box is in, there's a couple of photographs. One's of a boy and a dog, and the other is of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton man. Really? Ooh. And 
Mm. Did I mention that Lamont was very reluctant to talk about buying this box of stuff from Henry? Said he didn't want to mm -hmm. get anyone in trouble, whatever that means. Sounds like he or Henry or possibly both are up to something they shouldn't be. Yeah. Good that's job, what I Bess. Thought. I'm gonna poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. You better go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. He must keep nose spray around because something's wrong with his sinuses. Oh, he's gonna hate me. And now we get to play as Nancy again. Yay, hey, yayly day, daily do we play as Nancy again. La la la. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I suddenly felt like singing. Hey. The picture is of an iguana, right? There's an iguana. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's see. Ah. What was hmm. that? That was Uncle Bruno's pet iguana, Iggy. He's always in here stealing paper. He must be using it to build a nest or something. Look, I had all those books arranged so they fit perfectly in that box. Put them back in, okay? I don't have time. I just want to look through this one book. Go right ahead. After you put all those other books back. <sighs> Henry is such a grumpy wumpus. Uh, this is something you do in a lot of the other Nancy Drew games. You move the books around. And try to make them all fit. It's kind of... I'm not very good at this myself. I think... I don't really like it when I have to do this. Hmm. Let's experiment a bit. No, that won't fit. Will it? Okay. Hmm. No, that won't work. Uh, you can kind of see why I don't really like this puzzle. You have to move the books around a lot, and you always screw up. At least I do. I'm not very good at this. No, that won't leave any room for any books, will it? Okay, so what I did is I went back and checked the video and saw what the books looked like before Iggy knocked them over, and uh, apparently what you do is this. Put those books there... You got the blue books and that small little green book on the right hand side. Okay, put the red book there. Hmm, maybe that one goes. I'm already forgetting where they go. That one goes there? Yeah, that seems right. Um. Put this one there. And that one there. And let me see. No, that won't work. It's not gonna work. I'll put that one. Uh, hmm. Well, I need to have that thin book on the left-hand side, right? Well, that. No, that's what I tried earlier. That didn't work. So I got to put the thin book in. So, uh, put that book there. Mm hmm. And I think this is it. This is it. That should be. That should be it, right? Please let this book fit. Please let it fit. Please let it fit. It fits! Oh yeah! Crystal Skulls Factor Fable. And now here's the story of the Crystal Skulls. Um, basically, there were 13 skulls made of crystal spread all over the world, and each of them have magical powers. At some point in the future, fate will bring the 13 skulls together. And then, wait, did I skip something? I think I skipped something. Okay, here we go. Huh, that seems good. And this particular crystal skull is called the Whisperer, which apparently makes you live forever, unless you get killed by somebody else. If you're murdered, it doesn't prevent you from getting murdered. It just prevents you from dying of natural causes. And apparently Bruno Bollet had it. Hmm, that makes his death kind of suspicious. Because if you have the crystal skull, you can only die if you're murdered. And he died, which means he might have been murdered. Something we'll investigate later on in the game, I'm sure. Right now, though, I'm going to the graveyard. I, I forgot to do this last time, but... Remember in the mini graveyard, there was a little building that you could mess around with? We're going to the uh, real version of that little building. This is, this is the real version of the building, and hopes for some clues. Okay, let's check to this out. To figure out if there's anything camouflaged in that design, I'm going to need some paper. Hmm, we need paper. 
Let's go back to the house. 